Live, where news comes first. This is WECT News. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. Three weeks from tomorrow, that is General Election Day 2024. Voters will decide on all 170 offices in North Carolina's House and Senate, which is why WECT and our media partners invited candidates running for those offices to take part in a question and answer forum to hear where they stand on the issues audiences have identified as important this year. The first hour-long forum tonight included candidates for Senate, representing New Hanover and Brunswick counties, followed by House candidates. WECT's Ava Brangwood recaps some of the responses. Here at Cape Fear Community College, we heard from nine candidates running for North Carolina's General Assembly, and it was a mixed bag. Some longtime politicians, others running for the very first time. Notably, we heard from Senate candidates on issues that voters have identified as being important for this year's election. Topics on education, like teacher pay and opportunity scholarships. We also heard from candidates on whether they would support a bill to implement water standards for industrial polluters when it comes to forever chemicals and the highly contentious topic of abortion. You've probably seen the campaign ads on TV by now. The question here, will these candidates support lowering or raising the current 12-week ban on abortion in North Carolina? Here are their answers. Before the last election in 2022, I wrote an op-ed on what I would uh, support. And actually, you know, that's very similar to the law that we have now. You know, these aren't arbitrary rules that, that we just kind of went into a room and crafted. Um, it was really after deep consultation with medical professionals and folks on both sides of this issue. They're waiting to act in cases like sepsis and hemorrhage where we know that we have to act early to get a good outcome because they are afraid of the outcomes of this law. I would like to see it rolled back. The problem surrounding the tragedy of abortion is not a woman's problem. Women are not the problem here. It's the men. It's the men. So not only would I not support a more extreme ban, but I am in favor of changing it back to what it was for 50 years in our state, which is to the point of viability, which is around 20 weeks. We need that second trimester window to make sure that these women are able to um, raise the funds and get the appointment for the abortion care that they deserve. Now, if you miss the Senate and House candidate forums, uh, no need to worry. WECT live stream both, and you can watch those on WECT's website through Election Day on November 5th. At Cape Fear Community College, Ava Ringord, WECT News.